Hey guys, my name is Ashley Friedman. I am a doctor of physical therapy and I specialize in women's health, specifically the pelvic floor. So today I just kind of wanted to talk to you about what is the pelvic floor, why is it important, and what pelvic floor physical therapy is. In my next video, I'm going to create a list and kind of go over different diagnoses with the bladder, the bowels, pain, post-operatively, postpartum. Um, that you may or may not have or have heard of and those are different conditions that pelvic floor physical therapy can treat So if you're curious, oh, do I need pelvic floor physical therapy or can it benefit me? I'm gonna um, do that in my next video. So let's get into What is the pelvic floor? So I have a good diagram right here. This is a model. We have the two hip bones here and then our sacrum and then pubic bone, and then pubic symphysis right here. So you can see this is the vaginal opening and the rectal opening. So externally, we have superficial muscles that lie around the vulvar area and rectal area. These muscles um, help kind of keep everything up and in, and they are part of the pelvic floor. So when we do an exam, pelvic floor physical therapist, we feel externally first and then we go internally to feel the muscles that lie inside of the pelvis. I always explain to my patients, it's almost like a net and the oranges inside are your bladder, your uterus, and then your, um, you know, your colon. So these muscles have a few jobs. I always say support and structure, so supporting organs inside of the pelvis. Structure and stability, they help stabilize the hips and pelvis and the lumbar spine on the sacrum. Sphincter control, so we need the muscles to contract so we don't leak urine and stool and you can have an orgasm. And then also we need these muscles to relax and lengthen to help us empty our bladder, empty our bowels and ensure we don't have pain. The pelvic floor are really important and they often get neglected because we can't see them and we take them for granted. But what can happen is postpartum or after you have babies or as we age or there's any type of trauma to this area, we can start to develop issues with the pelvic floor and these muscles start to um, no longer function properly. We call this pelvic floor muscle dysfunction. So when these muscles aren't contracting properly, they aren't relaxing properly, we can have issues with emptying our bladder, leaking urine, leaking stool, constipation, all sorts of different things that I'm gonna go into in detail in other videos. Our jobs as pelvic floor specialists or pelvic floor physical therapists is to teach you how to use your pelvic floor muscles properly and how to contract, how to relax, and how to lengthen so you have good control over your bladder your bowels, and you're not having any issues with feeling pressure or heaviness um, or pain. That's just kind of an overview of what the pelvic floor muscles do. And moving forward, I want to kind of go over if you're experiencing constipation, like what could be happening with your pelvic floor muscles and what can you do. If you're experiencing stress urinary incontinence, meaning you cough, you laugh, you sneeze, what could be happening and what can you do and then maybe give you guys some tips and tricks to help that i treat so many women um i see about 10 to 11 patients a day and i treat five days a week so right there that's you know 50 patients a week times that by four weeks that's 200 women i'm talking to you're not alone this is really vulnerable stuff and it can be hard to just get the help you need because it is scary it's so much that goes into it whether you've been abused or have had trauma in your life or you've been dealing with this chronic issue and every doctor has brushed you off and you kind of have lost hope i want this channel to give you hope maybe build a community and just educate women just sharing my knowledge and sharing what's worked for my patients and i'm excited get ready we're gonna have a lot of good content um coming soon so comment below on what you want me to talk about i do have a podcast that we just started um, my best friend and i rachel we just talk about mind body relationships a little bit of women's health content in there now, if you're looking for something fun to listen to listen to that i also have my vlog where i'm vlogging my life as just a fun 29 year old woman with my husband um which has been fun and i just started that so go so stay tuned for more videos and i'm excited all right love you guys bye